Hello, I'm 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Tyler Moore to talk to you a little bit about different tropical cyclones and what's the difference between all of these terms that we throw out. So they're all tropical cyclones, but it's all based off wind speeds and the strength of the system. So on the lowest end, we have tropical depressions. That's wind speeds of 39 miles per hour or less. That's generally the beginning phase of a tropical system. Now, as it gains strength, we move up a scale to the tropical storm range. That's 39 to 73 miles per hour. Now we get even stronger and that's when we start to talk about hurricanes. That's wind speeds over 74 miles per hour. Now, once as we enter hurricanes, we get into a whole new ball game. We start to bring in the Saffir Simpson scale. Let's take things over to the weather while I want to show you uh, some of these ranges that we can see with some of these hurricanes. Now, this is a hurricane behind me right here. This is a satellite image here of a hurricane going on. Well, how do we classify this? Now we bring in the scale, right? You've likely heard of category one all the way up to category five, and it all has to do with again the wind speeds inside the storm and the damage that comes with it. So you can see a category one storm. You're looking at 74 to 95 mile per hour winds with some damage that increases drastically though as we start to increase towards a major hurricane that's category three to category five. And you can see once you get to category five strength, you're talking about winds within that storm of 157 miles per hour or higher causing catastrophic damage across its path. Stay informed, prepared, and connected with 10 Tampa Bay during hurricane season and every day. Watch us on your phone. Just download our app, stream us on your TV, and you can even watch live newscasts on 10tampabay.com.